So Conan just showed up today. Um, this is uh, a new game. It's by uh, Monolith. Um, Monolith has some really cool IPs. Well, they're not actually theirs. Like uh, they have. Well, one is like they um, they make a uh, a game. Uh, it's like Pantheon, uh, and it's it's uh, based on like Greek mythology. And then they also make the Batman uh, miniatures game, which is super popular. But this, um, you know, Conan, um, I think, well, Fantasy Flight just recently did one. Um, you know, it's not, it's obviously not a um, an original IP. But um, I'll be honest, the the reason why I got it was because it was cheap. It was on sale for like 50 bucks or something like 40. Uh, and uh, um, I bought it for the miniatures. And I might even do a video about how to find cheap miniatures on like Amazon and eBay and um, <clears throat> uh, Kickstarter and stuff like that. Um, but if you look at how many miniatures this comes with, like let's see, 15 of these guys, 15 of these archers. And um, I mean, I, I did check out the gameplay. I watched the game on YouTube, you know, um, and it looks really good. I mean, it looks really fun. It's sort of like a, like a DM style, um, like a miniatures, you know, board game, like a, you know, like a Dungeons and Dragons light, something, something like that. There's a lot of games like that and I'm into them. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, let's get into it. This is kind of cool though. The so, let's see. Relive the Chimerian's greatest adventures from eight unique scenarios that will take you all across the continents of Hy continent of Hyboria, from hearthlit taverns to shark infested waters, from pick villages to Bessonian strongholds. You get to witness Conan's defining moments firsthand, joining the iconic barbarian as Shabbat as the master thief Hadurus. So it does, it comes with, um, the Kickstarter came with all kinds of stretch goals. I think that they raised, they, they wanted like, oh, I don't know, like 300,000 or something to make the game and then ended up raising like 2 million or 3 million, something like that. Um, <clears throat> I think this might even be a reboot. I think it is. I think that, that Monolith originally did a, a Conan game. And then this is like a, sort of like a re-release with like way, way nicer miniatures. Um, yeah, like uh, Monolith and Simon, cool mini or not, they, they have some really great miniatures in their games. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, oh, there we go, there's one. Really nice looking, pretty awesome looking snake. I mean, like you could spend forty dollars on a stupid snake, you know, on a on just like one mini. Um, this were made by GW. It'd probably be something like that. So I want to get into these. I want to check out all these minis. Okay, so I apologize for the light. It's pretty overcast today. It's really raining out. Um, but as you can see, check out the quality of the minis. Like, I mean, these guys are, you know, they're all the same sculpt, but there's a ton of them. There's 15 of these pirate guys. Like if you have a D&D &D campaign with pirates and it comes with a, um, there's like a pirate ship, uh, board too you know one of the one of the scenarios that you play on is like a pirate ship um, but uh but yeah i love the minis the minis are awesome looking can't wait to paint these guys oh lost one me down got some wolves i mean i think that the game i don't know like the it's funny because like sometimes the games on Kickstarter, it's like, I don't know, they want like a hundred dollars or something for the game. And then 
you can buy them on eBay and like the all of the stretch goals, like people will sell the stretch goals for like $100 alone. And the game, you know, the game, like everything, if you got everything, it'll end up being like $200. But um, I'm, I'm a little bit of a weenie about backing things on Kickstarter just because it's like you don't have any guarantee that you're actually going to get the game. You know, it's like there's... Um, Kickstarter, it's like, well, companies like Simon and, um, you know, these guys like Mythic or, or Monolith, um, I think you can trust them, but, um, I think that, yeah, famously there's like the majority of projects on Kickstarter, uh, well, most of them don't get funded, but the majority like more than half of the projects on Kickstarter that get funded don't actually finally get completed. Looks like we've got a little bit, some little warping, a little bit of weird warping in the sword. Um, but, you know, you could probably fix that with like a hair dryer. Just stick them in a little bit of hot water and kind of straighten out the... But that's Conan, man. Um, it's a very cool mini. I like that guy a lot. Could be like a monk or something, you know, if you're playing D and D. Um, this this is like love this one. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get the game was this one. Super cool mini. Um, <clears throat> I love the, uh, the pirate captain. <laughs> oh, it's a little sword. It's a little cutlass is busted right there. Looks like a flaw in the plastic. Not a big deal, but. Can fix that. Oops. Oh wait, no, I take it back. That was just a barbarian. This guy is definitely Conan. Yeah, that was just like a generic barbarian. This guy is Conan. <laughs> awesome. That's a barbarian. <laughs> it's a very cool looking gargoyle guy all right let's look at some of the car the art yeah before i get into the um the card art there's a whole nother tray of minis i mean i think the games like this they are well worth the money just for the minis alone it's like if you bought these piecemeal you know i mean you of course you can use a ton of town guard you know or, or generic archers like that's the, that's the thing that you can never have enough of is like these guys the the guys that your heroes are supposed to just knock down. Um, I'll probably do a, I'll do a batch painting um, video about these guys. It comes with a ton of these um, just kind of like troglodyte, you know, the cannibal caveman Neanderthal guys. Looks like there's 15 of them. There's 15 of these pikemen. Five archers. I wish it came with more archers. Could use more archers. And then 15, 15 pirates. A lot of like... But also the, um, the art. This card, this art looks great. It's really cool. Really, really cool card art. Man, I love that. Reminds me of like Frank Fazetta or um, uh, Howard Pyle. I think that he uh, he's the one who did all the pirates. Um, I think the art looks amazing. I think it's great. Very pulpy looking, like like the uh, you know the kind of stuff that the the original comics what they look like. Got a lot of generic little. Um, See, chests, doors, uh, staircases, um, barricades. But also, the, another thing, another reason why I wanted this, I mean, like, the, don't get me the wrong, the game looks fun. The game looks cool. It's, it doesn't look too complicated, you know, it's like, basically, like, you roll the dice, you get however many, um, you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm guessing that yellow... 
is probably the weakest, and then red is like the, um, the strongest. So let's see. Yeah, they're up to three axes, and then two. Two is the max number of axes on this, and I think it's, yeah, it's gotta be one or two. Two is like a crit with the yellow dice. So it's like, that's how you kind of go by like success and uh, damages, things like that. And you, you have, um, here's the, the cards for the characters. Uh, you have uh, these little gems that uh, that go onto the cards and you keep them here in this green, in your reserve. And then as you get injured, they end up here. Um, so it's like the more injured you are, the less actions you can perform. And then you sort of spend your, uh, you spend your little gems to, um, to do different, uh, different actions. Uh, and then I think that you can take like healing potions and things like that. That's like, that's one of the actions is to, you know, manipulate something or let's see, running, jumping, swimming, uh, breaking through a wall. Uh, but I love the, the art. But okay, so this is really cool. This is something that I wanted to show is check out these boards. Like you could use these for, you know, whatever. Like let's say that you, even if you had some like, 3D, you know, like some MDF buildings or something, you could put the, um, the buildings on top of this stuff and then you have your Hyborian village, you know, your, um, like uh whatever it is you know for your um if you're playing like a campaign with uh with minis i just i always think of that because like you know i i i love D D. I hate D D board games well i don't hate them it's just they just they suck compared to you know D D. um <clears throat> but like yeah check out this uh look at this art these these car you know these boards these game boards look look gorgeous they really do um as far as like a gaming mat you know or something like you're playing a campaign but this i'm definitely going to use i'm definitely going to use this pirate ship so and then um very much like in fact, th these look like generic, like these just kind of, apparently, these just come with games now. Like this, these, I've seen these in Zombicide, I've seen these in um, uh, Massive Darkness, I've seen, and, then, and then those are Seamine games. But these, so these go on the bases, they just snap onto the bases and like um, show like which team, like I think there was a mission that I watched where the pirates, you're fighting the pirates, and then sometimes they they can mutiny. Like, they can uh, go uh, decide that they want to fight on your team instead of the captain's team. Um, but, yeah, I thought, like, why? who couldn't use lots of pirates and town guard and archers and, and wolves and, you know, like, the minis just... That's what really sold it for me is how good they look. And they're just, like, they're very like practical <laughs> you know like i mean zombicide and massive darkness those are other great examples of games that come with awesome minis that you could use for just any kind of game you know zombies and trolls and you know troglodytes <laughs> troglodyte king Man, there's such a such a bulky guy, like, it's got a, like, a little teeny tiny, uh, cod piece, little package. He's a grower, not a shower. I'm trying to keep it kind of PG on my channel. Nah, I mean, that's, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> That'll never happen. Awesome minis, though. Can't wait to paint these guys. Definitely gonna do some videos about painting these guys. They just, they look so good. Anyways, yeah, that's Conan. Very excited. It's definitely it's a super rainy outside, and and I'm excited to do some some painting today. Do some some projects.